A teenager was home alone when five armed and masked men stormed into his house, fought him, and tied him up with tape. All of them are in jail now after an hours-long manhunt, and that teenager's sharing his story tonight only on Fox 4. Today, Fox 4's Deanna Zoga spoke with the sheriff's office where investigators aren't yet sure why the victims were targeted. She's in Terrell tonight with more. Deanna. Well, hey there, Steve. You know, those suspects were caught after a chase and manhunt here through Terrell. They uh, wore bandanas all over their faces during the robbery on Tuesday. But after they were caught, and after their mug shots became public today, we spoke with the teenage victim who recognized at least three of the guys in those mug shot photos, saying that they he knows them either from school or as friendship acquaintances and that they were the ones who robbed him yesterday. This one, this one. Uh, this one. A day after a home invasion robbery, another piece of the puzzle may be falling into place. We hung out this summer. With Casey Rogers recognizing three of five home invasion suspects as either classmates or friends who have been to his house before. They kicked the door in right here. They broke my door. But Tuesday, he says they were uninvited and disguised, wearing camo, police t-shirts, and bandanas over their faces. Well, yeah, they came busting in the door saying it's Kaufman County Police uh, looking for illegal weapons. And I was like, we have no illegal weapons here. He says there was a struggle and the five guys, two of them carrying guns, tied him up and stole from the house. When it was over, Casey says he was able to get free and called 911, setting off a police chase and manhunt that ended five hours later with all the suspects who failed to impersonate police arrested. I think probably weak attempt is probably the best way to describe it. Um, the more representation of police was the way they were dressed. Um, you know, it's what I would call army surplus clothing. I mean, they had camouflage on and I think one of them was wearing a police t-shirt, police hat. Uh, but, uh, you know, as far as being in uniform and, and actually impersonating an officer, I don't, I don't, I think that's a stretch. As for Casey, aside from a few scrapes, he wasn't hurt. Some of you might recognize Casey from this live TV moment five years ago when he was picked to push the button that imploded the old Texas stadium. Oh. Come on. I hate talking about that. It gets very embarrassed. Well. But that, he says, was a long time ago. Casey's now 17, celebrating his birthday today, the day after the home invasion. Thank God that my son is alive and he's talking to me. Because the more I learned of the story, the more I realized that we may not be celebrating his 17th birthday today. We may be planning a funeral. So one of the reasons that Casey was, was picked five years ago to, to push that button, if you remember, as a little boy, he started a foundation called Casey's Heart. He says that nothing in this robbery was taken from that foundation. And, and Steve, uh, authorities here say that during the arrest, investigators, when they made those arrests, did recover some of the stolen property from the home, as well as the two weapons, a shotgun and a handgun. Back to you. Okay, Deanna Zoga, thanks.